What's up, what's up, and welcome back to the Crypto Galaxy. All right, today's live stream is going to be my top five layer one and layer two cryptos to buy now and make billions next bull run. Okay, maybe just millions, but I'm not going to complain about millions. Dang, dude, holy pump a moly, dude. All my bags are pumping, man. Like my Casper is pumping. Caspa is still rated number one. I believe should be 80% uh, of everybody's portfolios. Call me crazy. I'm a Caspa Maxi. Neon, I've got ranked at number two. I've got Mint Layer at number three. Open Fabric AI at number four. And a new gem coming out pretty soon. I think, well, I don't think. I just know. Layer one and layer two coins are the best narrative and fundamental for crypto. Hands down. Because if you think about it, what is Bitcoin? The layer one. What is Ethereum? A layer one, what's BNB? A layer one, what's Solana? A layer one, Cardano, layer one, Avalanche, layer one. <laughs> I think you get the gist. I could go on. I'm saying, who's going to pump your bags? It's going to be the money from uh, these big cap layer one and layer two coins. Um, I also am pretty bullish on meme coins. I'll, what I do is I like to trade the meme coin short term, and I can put the profits into the layer one and the layer two cryptos. So yeah, layer ones are always good. Uh, last bull run, I made like um 200x on Phantom. Uh, I made 100x on Cardano. I made a 50x on uh, Ethereum. I made 100x on BNB. Uh, oh, and I also made a 200x on Polygon. So it's just going to be a rinse and repeat pattern. So for this up upcoming bull run, I'm doing the same exact things I did last bull run. I'm going in very heavy on layer ones and layer twos. Some of them are going to pump a lot. I mean, we got, I mean, I'm saying from today, 100x, 200x is coming. You see these numbers on the screen. That's not clickbait. Like these are actually going to happen for some of these coins. Obviously, some of the coins are going to like be a fluke and they're going to rug, but most of them are actually going to do 100x, 200x. I mean, it kind of depends on certain factors, right? Like is the team pushing for the new exchange listings because the coins that get listed on Coinbase and Binance, Crypto.com, those are the ones that do the 100x and 200x. So uh, let's keep our trust and faith and belief in the uh, the teams that push these projects. Hopefully they're not cheapskates. They're pushing for the exchange listings. And um, we're going to be making millions, boys. I can feel it in my loins. It's going to be happening. So what's up, guys? Crypto Genius. What's up, CG? Went 97% cash by after the smart contract news. After the news, I've already been well. Okay, actually, that's pretty good, dude. Ninety-seven percent Caspa, yeah. Um, so I think Bitcoin is the next world reserve currency, like actually. And the problem with Bitcoin is that it's too slow to be a peer-to-peer -peer transactional currency, and that's what Caspa is going to do. Caspa is the only coin with a potential to become the first world transactional cryptocurrency. It can't be Ethereum. Ethereum is too slow and expensive. It's not going to be Solana. Solana is a proof of stake coin that can't even handle the transactional volume of the bull run. Has anyone no noticed the issues with Solana? It can't handle the volume. But but Caspa can. Caspa has way better tech. Also, Caspa has better tokenomics. So I think the long-term pumping potential in Caspa is going to outperform Solana, Cardano, Avalanche, Polkadot, and all the other crap. Just because I call like all the other coins crap doesn't mean you can't trade them. I mean, I'll still trade them, right? I mean, look at Neon, bro. Neon is totally a scam, right? Mint Layer is a scam. Open Fabric is a scam. Just because I call it a scam doesn't mean that I'm not going to invest in it. Pretty much every coin that's a, a proof of stake coin is a scam by default because proof of stake cryptos are generated out of thin air from nothing, which means that there's no inherent value in such coins which is essentially a, a Ponzi scheme. And a Ponzi is a scam. Caspa though is a proof of work. So you have to mine it with physical electricity, which is the exchange of a real world resource into a digital currency, which it's a bit of a stretch, but it's better than proof of stake. I'll bullish on uh, OFN. I mean, it's whatever. It's better than all the other options I've seen. Market cap is uh, very low. The team is okay. I think they're from... Elrond, Elrond developers. So that's fine, dude. Um, where's where's OFN right now? It's also AI. Like I think AI is pretty useless, but don't get me wrong, AI is 
really easy to to market and it's going to get a lot of hype for no good reason right so i'm all i'm all about the hype the fomo the stupid retail investors blindly pumping my bag so um even though i think ai is stupid in itself doesn't mean that you can't make money on it and i'm here for the money so ai coin is going to make a lot of money it's a two for one because it's a layer one plus ai um what does it actually do nobody cares because we're just here for the money it just has a good uh some good buzzwords to it chart looking pretty solid i mean it's, it's just going up dude my seven step method video course group found uh ofn super early they got it at um they got it at 18 cents so they're up uh i don't know 4x 3x the ofn looking pretty decent i mean just just grab a small bag just get a little bit i'm not super bullish on it like the rate the way that I have these layer ones ranked is um it's it's in order of how bullish i am on it I think Neon is pretty bullish because it's uh, the first layer two for Solana that brings EVM compatibility. Um, Mint layer, I think, is pretty good because the Bitcoin DeFi narrative is going to be huge next bull run. Uh, Open Fabric, I mean, it's just going to rely on, you know, AI hype and marketing. And also going to have a new gem that I'm going to go buy pretty soon. Another, uh, another layer one or layer two. I can't reveal it. Only 30% Tau in circulation. The dump shall be epic. Yeah, but it's not like they're going to release all the Tau coins in one day. Like, boom, here you go. 100% circulating. Tau has really good tokenomics. I think it's pretty bullish long term. The only reason I, I don't invest in Tau is because the market cap is too big. Um, For the same market cap, I'd rather just buy more Caspa. That's the only reason I don't get Tau. I think Tau is a really good good project, though. space mesh i don't think space mesh is that good like i understand there's a lot of good tech behind it a good team it's been worked on forever blah 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 here's my main concern with space mesh it's only on three really small sketchy exchanges <laughs> i mean you can just see by this comment right here help where to buy space mesh i am a robot i do not know how to use a safe trade why is space mesh not on coinbase <laughs> How do I use Uniswap? Where is it on Uniswap? <laughs> like, dude, look at these exchanges. <laughs> Safe Trade, Bing X, XT. Nobody knows how to use these exchanges. No one's going to sign up for them. They're not regulated anywhere. Nobody gives a crap. So I understand the tech of Space Mesh is solid. Maybe it's a proof of work. Maybe it has good tokenomics and a great team. But who's going to pump your bags? Robots like BK get to money do not know how to use Bing X, Safe Trade, or XT.com. And neither am I. I'm not going to sign up on any of those exchanges. This is not worth my time. So I'm not going to pump your bags because I'm not on any of those three super sketchy exchanges. There is a reason why I have these coins on this list, is because I look at the exchange listings. Bro, just look at Open Fabric is on at least seven somewhat okay centralized exchanges uh same with mint layer neon especially is already on crypto.com crypto.com is a huge robotic normie exchange where people just go blindly aping into every coin on there and then they pump your bags uh caspa also i love because it has potential to become the next tier one exchange listings caspa is already available for futures trading on binance and kraken which are two gigantic exchanges as soon as uh kraken and binance list caspa for spot trading it's going to pump 2x instantly and don't even um, man once we get coinbase dude for caspa it's game over but yeah I, th there's a reason why i pass on layer one coins like space mesh because of crap like a lack of centralized exchange listings. Have you already released the seven step course gem to the VIP members? Uh, no, not yet, but I will. Look at my altcoin. <laughs> it's basically what every comment is like, help. What do you think about my crypto? <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, guys. All of the coins that I've made 20x, 50x, 100x. None of them have ever come from YouTube comments. And actually, none of them have even come from the VIP members, if I'm being honest. None. All the coins that I made huge gains on came from myself and my own research. 
or it came from a, a member in my seven step uh, video course. Cause at least the people who take the seven step method video course are using the criteria that I taught them. So if a, if a crypto passes the checks and they know where to look for these coins in the, the seven step video course and they show it to me, I'm like, yeah, wow, it's actually decent because they're using the criteria that I use. And it's a proven system. You buy Space Mesh before the big exchanges. I see what you're saying, but I don't think Space Mesh is actually going to get big exchanges because Space Mesh has been around for a long ass time. And after all this time, they have three tiny exchange listings. And I've never heard anyone say, oh, guess what? Crypto Galaxy Space Mesh is working with Binance for a listing. They're going to get on crypto.com. No, I've never heard it. The Space Mesh doesn't care. They're not trying to get new exchange listings. The team doesn't give a crap. All they care about is themselves and their tech and their, you know, utility, <laughs> whatever that is. Are you a Caspa affiliate? No, I'm not a paid chiller. I'm not a paid marketer. I don't get paid to talk about any cryptos that I promote on here. These are all cryptos that I actually believe in. I actually hold, I recommend, and I invest in. I've never taken money to be a paid marketer, nor will I ever in the future. It's very dishonest. It's very greedy and it's not authentic. I'm bullish on hello. Cool. Hello. Kavartan robot. <laughs> Alephium has potential. Uh, maybe it does. I think it's okay. The market cap might be uh too big though. What's the what's the MC? Damn, one eighty three mil. I mean, it's not horrible. It's on a run. Um, I would not buy it now. I would have bought this before it pumped. So don't buy now. You're at the top. You gotta buy before the pumps. Damn, bro, only uh, five central exchanges? I don't know, man. I guess the potential is there, but um, I don't know. We all see wins from YouTubers. Do you have some losses? Of course I have losses. I have some losses in things like um, Joystream. What else is there? Pip. <laughs> There's a few, but they're not that bad. They only went down like 20%. I have never had a rug, like, ever. I've never had something go down more than 50%. And that's okay. I mean, in crypto, the way it works is that whenever I make, a, a, like, a 50x pump or a 100x pump, it's going to out uh, outperform and recover all of, you know, my losses in the negative 20%. Because going down 20% is nothing. Crypto Chris is bullish on it. I mean, yeah, he's bullish on it, but I don't think he actually holds it. Like, you can be bullish on something, but not actually be investing in it. Orange, yeah. Orange is very bullish. I do recommend it. It's not a layer one, but this is my next um, short-term play. Chart's looking really good, and I'll prove it. I'll, I'll pull up a... Uh, I'll pull up the whole... The, the all-time chart real quick. Let's see. Hold on. Maybe L-Bank. I really wish the BRC20 coins had uh, DAX charts, but I don't think they do. Yeah, but uh, orange chart looking good, right? Like it's been consolidating for uh, almost two months and it's about 5% from the top. So uh, really bullish chart, right? Like I know it's at the top, but it hasn't had like a, a straight up spike yet. Like you saw with Alephium, Alephium went straight up 20X so that you're late. But with something like Orange Day or, or Orange, you're pretty early to it. I think... um. Orange Day is not like, Orange is not that good long term, but it's good short term because the chart's bullish, the volume is getting increased. Um, they just paid for another two central exchange listings. What was it, L Bank and Gate? Or is it BitGet and L Bank? I don't know. They got something though. They got something cooking. And I mean, already I'm doubled my money <laughs> on Orange. Bro, I bought Orange at 33 cents. Because it was a high conviction play. And it's up uh, 2x right now. Wow, that's pretty good. And I recommend still buying now too. Like, I think it's a good short term play at least. Um, it can go to a, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars. And I would recommend get on the VIP membership if you want to follow all my trades in real time. Because you would have got orange at 33 cents before it pumped 2x. And before, you know, you guys watching publicly for free 
uh, hear about it in the public live streams because now you guys are kind of buying, you know, kind of late. Well, not that late, but you could have got earlier if you were not a cheapskate. <laughs> Edward says, Neon has the perfect narrative and branding for the normies to pump our bags. Oh, and look, Neon, that sounds cool. I'm going to go buy it because the name is sketchy and colorful. Exactly. You get it. <laughs> Light bulb moment. You guys see all the hype that the Solana ecosystem is getting? Solana sucks. Like, as a blockchain, Solana is terrible. But you don't need to have good tech to pump a lot. You just need to have good hype, marketing, and good branding. So that the, 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 the normies who use the exchanges, they go to buy the coin and they pump our bags, like Edward said. So Neon is a colorful layer one, layer two coin. It's going to appeal to the Solana normies. And um, it's an easy to buy name. It's a, e a simple logo. It's a simple message. It's just a layer two for Solana. And especially now that the Solana ecosystem has proven itself to be complete garbage, Perhaps Neon can be the saving grace for Solana. Like, hey, guys, we come to save the day. We're going to be the layer two for Solana. We're going to bridge EVM chain stuff from ETH to Solana. Buy us. Get Neon. Neon, I think, could have a good story for it, a good narrative, especially with the fact that Solana is now ranked five in crypto. It's, it, it, you're right, Edward. It, it, Neon's going to catch on. I think it is. Man, I feel so lucky I got Neon, like, bit rate too low. Oh, my God. Am I frozen? Hold on. No internet? What the hell? Am I back? Okay, there we go. Yeah, apologies, guys. I just, uh, technical difficulties. Dude, my internet is so bad today. I'm back. All right, cool. I think you guys saw... Yeah, I, I was just reading the super chat from Edward. It's basically uh, confirming what Edward says, that Neon is very bullish, dude. Uh, it's a layer two for Solana. Uh, what happened? My internet sucks. <laughs> That's what happened. Are these X from today's price? That's a really robotic comment. Help. Is this 100X from today? <laughs> Uh, yes, it is. But I don't actually know. Like, it's just it's just potential. Like, no one knows, like, what actual X is going to happen. But it is important to, like, kind of see my conviction to see how much I believe in it. Um, I mean, for me, it's going to be more because I bought, like, really early on these on these projects. What is the exit strategy for cast, mint layer, neon? How can we find out about listing of coins that follow? How to see listing news before the others? Um, so... I hope I am not going to have to sell any of those until they get Coinbase listings. Because when you get like a Coinbase listing or Robinhood or like, you know, the big tier one exchanges, they're going to pump a lot. So I'm going to wait until they get listings on Coinbase. How to find out listings before the others. I mean, there's no way. It's secret information. They're not going to. Brian Armstrong's not going to be like, hey, giveaway. I'm going to go list Caspa on Coinbase tomorrow. Just FYI. <laughs> He's not going to tell you. <laughs> but there are some things you can do. Um, I just want to give a reminder to everybody in VIP. I added the exchange listing bot, which is actually faster than the, the news. Because, like, if there's a new Binance listing, you hear it on the Binance website news and you hear it on Twitter. But this bot that I put in Discord is automatic. So as soon as it lists before the news, you get the notification. Um, scam Fari listed on Mexi. <laughs> There's a bunch of I I just have a bunch of uh, Mexi notifications on here. But also, um, if anything gets listed on Binance, Coinbase, Robinhood, etc., uh, this bot's gonna get like give real time notifications because what they use is an API. So what they do is that the bot it listens to the exchange listings in real time from the actual exchange website. Like they keep scraping data from the websites from from the exchange websites, not just the news. 
So when the crypto is like physically integrated, that's when the bot sends the notification. Um, so if you're not on the VIP, I would recommend signing up so you can get the, the earliest exchange listing uh, alpha. Like it's right here from the bot. I mean, look at all these coins that got listed on, you know, Maxi, L Bank, by Economy. There's a whole bunch of like sketchy exchanges on here, but it will show the tier ones too. They're they're very rare. I mean, it's very rare to get, you know, like here, look at this, for example. Uh polyhedra listed on crypto.com. And when something like this happens, you can use this information to actually like just open up a long and do some futures trading. Because usually um, crypto.com is a really big normie exchange. So whenever a new coin gets freshly listed on there, it's going to pump a lot. I mean, exit strategy, it goes a lot more in depth than that. I mean, you got to take into context where you're at in the bull run. You know, you got to look at the chart. You got to look at the tokenomics. What is the narrative of the crypto? I, th this is why exactly I made this video course, the Taking Profits video course. Um, I mean, the first thing you should do is take your initial investment out. That's obvious. You don't need a video course for that. But the important things to look at is the Coinbase listing, the Tier 1 exchange listings. Look, if, look for a double top and some other information I'm not going to reveal here in the public live stream. But there is like multiple factors to put in together and you can kind of figure out, oh, okay, I should sell 20% on this listing or I should sell 30% on that listing, but it's dependent on the other listings or it's dependent on the price of Bitcoin or it's partially dependent on, you know, the tokenomics of said crypto in question. So there's a lot more, you know, like it's not, you can't be a robot when you sell this stuff, right? You can't just be like, help, I'm a robot. I will sell everything at a dollar. <laughs> That's the robotic strategy. Sell it all at a dollar. <laughs> Man, I don't know why people set price targets to sell. That that only works in futures trading. But if you're doing long-term microcap trading and investing, you can't really set price targets because it, it never works. Like, I'm just speaking from experience. It's not that simple. Peng? Yeah, Peng's looking decent. I have some. You called Joy early. Isn't that a loss? I've only seen you lose on Pip and some of the smaller VIP gems. I don't know if I, I... I mean, I called Joy early, but I also bought more at the top. So I think I actually didn't lose anything. I think you're right. Are you taking cat memes seriously? No. Not yet. Cubic sucks. I don't like Cubic. Guys, I really don't like these microcap proof of work coins. Just my opinion. I understand they're pumping. I get it. They're they're kind of bullish. I understand that they have good tokenomics and good tech. Cubic, Space Mesh, Microvision Chain Space, Radiant, uh, Nexa. Like I get it, but I'd rather just buy more Caspa. Is Caspa the king of all those clown coins? And the reason I have these other coins is because they cover different narratives, bro. Like, Neon is the only Solana layer 2. Mint layer is, like, a first of its kind Bitcoin DeFi layer 2 for minting, uh, I don't know, NFTs or some shit. And then Open Fabric is one of the only proof-of-stake layer 1 AI coins with a whole suite of products. Which is different than Tau. But Tensor Tau is a layer one AI coin, but the problem is that the market cap is too big. And also, it's a, it's a different niche. Uh, but Tensor Tau is not going to have smart contracts, but Open Fabric could. Open Fabric could have uh, smart contracts and dApps to build on it. Uh, what about Rio? It sucks. Uh, Honey Girl, thank you for the, the $2 super chat. Very much appreciated. Half of that goes to YouTube, half goes to me. So now I am. One dollar richer. <laughs> I'm rich. I got a dollar. <laughs> Solana's bad. ETH is worse. Still got some soul. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, exactly, dude. Solana sucks. Ethereum sucks. But even though these coins suck, it's crazy. They can be in the top five crypto market cap, even though they suck.
It's all about the hype and the marketing. Like these cryptos don't actually solve any real world problems, nor do they have any actual value because they're proof of stake coins. The only cryptos with, cryptos with potential for inherent value is a proof of work coin like um, Caspa, Bitcoin, maybe even, you know, Monero, Dogecoin. But they're all hype. Solana, Ethereum, it's all hype. The only reason people buy those cryptos is so they can go uh, degen trading on those chains to go buy the, the, the meme coins. Which is fine. I think they're good investments if you want to make money. I'm just I'm just speaking on the like realistic side as far as like long term invent, uh, inherent value goes. Solana and ETH suck. Have a look at Liquid Layer. You think I'll like it? Why am I gonna like it? Nexa looks good. No. Where are all the other fifty calls you had many months ago? <laughs> I don't think I did not have 50 calls many months ago. Like what the hell? Get him out of here. Get out. <laughs> That's a lot. I did not have that many. <laughs> oh, Crypto Chris has Space Mesh? Interesting. I thought he didn't. Maybe he has a little bit, but it's not that much. Myro is trash. Of course Myro is trash, dude. Every proof of stake coin is trash, but just because it's trash doesn't mean you can't make money on it. What do you think about P3D? Good team. Um, just for me personally, I don't like any coins that have a um, a number in the name. It's just really goofy. P3D pass. This is really weird. What does this do? The ledger of things. Oh, it's a layer one. Tokenization. Oh, what kind of layer one? The best layer ones are the ones that are going to have smart contracts. Tokenization of objects? What objects, though? Oh, there are smart contracts. Interesting. It's, uh, it's a few months old. Damn, did this rug from the launch? You see this little, like, dip? Looks like it rugged, but then it had a recovery. It's got, um... Four sketchy exchanges. Um, this is a super degen play. I think if they get like, you know, KuCoin, BitGet, Gate, then maybe there's a potential. But I don't know, dude. This is a really strange degen play. The market cap reported on here is incorrect. Uh, let's see. Is it on crypto rank? Yes, it is. Oh, but the vesting is not on here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Um, maybe it has a chance, but it just seems kind of odd. Uh, Nash, thanks for the five dollars. CG, Caspa, and Mint Layer all the way. Yes, these are two uh solid picks, dude. Very bullish on these. Caspa obviously should be eighty percent of everybody's portfolio. You know, mint layer is worth two to three percent. Neon is worth four to five percent. Grab a little bit of open fabric. And also, if you're an active trader and you actually want to like become a better crypto investor, get on the seven step method video course because one of my students on there, he's the one who found mint layer before it pumped a lot. He found it at two cents. I've been really lucky to get early on some of these calls. Um, like my student, he found Mint Layer at two cents <laughs> right before the pumps. Holy shit, dude. That's 20x. I'm up 20x on Mint Layer. I'm also up, I think, uh, what, 40x on Caspa. And I'm up about 30x on Neon. And there's more coins coming too. I don't want to like depress anybody who didn't get on these. There's, there's more cryptos coming. Like there's always going to be new coins. We're in the bull run. So it's, the market's going to start getting oversaturated. Selling all Myro for Harry Potato B Mario Flynn. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Pyron? Yep, I've already seen... Dude, I've I already... Yes, I have seen Pyron. I know. I, I know about it. 
I, I think it's okay, but it's it's way too degen for me. But I think for somebody like you who likes to do more short-term day trading, then yeah, it's a good play. Um, Byron got called on my seven-step video course group at three cents a few weeks ago. The only reason I pass on it is because it's too sketchy with the uh, anonymous team and the lack of exchange listings. But like, if you're a degen day trader, then yeah, by all means, it's a good play. And this one got called in my group very early. Like again, it got called at three cents. So there's a few people in my my VIP and my um my video course groups that got in on on, on Pyron pretty early. I think it's too sketchy for a long term potential, but uh, short term it's a good play. You think Bonk is done? No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Myro setting up. Yeah, Myro's um looking prime for another breakout. I would agree. Kick me. All right. <laughs> What's your take on Space Mesh? Uh, you can play the stream back. I already talked about it for like five minutes. Track Ordinals. Yes, I think that one's pretty bullish. I do like it. I do. How come GTAI is not as good as OFN? When did I say that? But I mean, you're also right. I would say that. I never said it, but I will say it now. The reason OFN is better than GT is because it's a layer one. And if you look at where all the money is in crypto, it's layer ones. What is Bitcoin? A layer one. What is ETH? A layer one. What is BNB? A layer one. What is Solana? A layer one. What is Dogecoin? A layer one. What is Cardano? A layer one. What is Avalanche? A layer one. You see what I'm saying? I can go on. All of the crypto coins up here in the top 10, top 20, they're all layer ones. Even Dogecoin is a layer one. It's a meme coin, but it's a layer one meme coin. Because it's a proof of work coin. All the other meme coins like Myro, Shiba, Bonk, Pepe, they're all tokens. They're not layer ones. And tokens always have less value than layer one coins. So that's why Dogecoin is always going to be the Bitcoin of memes. But again, my, my point is that the layer one and layer two crypto narrative is always going to be... um. The most generous in 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 returns and profits just because there's there's more money in a layer one like like think about it dude a, a layer one is a, a, a creating a whole ecosystem of people to do degen trading meme coins scam coins DeFi coins you need the layer one coin to swap into the layer one tokens you know like you need solana to swap it into miro you need Ethereum to swap it into Pepe or Shiba. You see what I'm saying? So once Caspa gets smart contracts, it's game over. Caspa is going to have a huge ecosystem of meme coins, DeFi coins, scam coins, and other useless crap that you need Caspa to swap into those. So all of a sudden, a whole wave of new people are all going to FOMO into Caspa as soon as the smart contracts get launched because people want fast money, fast profits, and they're going to be buying our Caspa to trade scam coins on the Caspa uh, block DAG. So the cryptos in general that I'm most bullish on is layer ones first and foremost. And then shortly after layer ones, I'm bullish on layer twos and memes. <laughs> Team will be doxxed after they release smart contracts. I've heard this so many times like, oh, the team will be doxxed later after a certain something happens. Like why? But why? Why not do it now? It's just a false promise. I have a ton of Caspa, but dropped a couple thousand into Pyron. Guess we'll see where it goes. I think Pyron's a good short-term play. It's a, it's a good pick. Tenant pumps a lot soon. I mean, there's a chance, but um, they fired their whole team. You know, like they fired their own CEO. Like, like what the hell? <laughs> Why would you fire your own CEO? That was the biggest dumb move they've ever made. So that's why I'm done with Tenant. Like, if a CEO quits a project, it's done. Target price for Caspa this year, $1. <clears throat> CG, I often dream about you while I'm asleep late at night. 
Thank you for the gems. <laughs> of course, anytime. <laughs> How about CG becoming a crypto gem teacher in high school? I mean, I don't think high schoolers really need to learn about, like, you know, gambling and investing and finance. Because a lot of this is just gambling. Like, there's more productive things to do. But if you can get it, I, I see what she's saying, though. Like, if you, if you can get crypto figured out, you can make a lot of money. But I would say that this is not, like, a ideal career is to be a, a trader and investor. Like, it's an easy way to make money. But you're not actually providing value to the world. <laughs> the value that I provide to the world is that I teach people how to invest in crypto and make money. But the people who learn about crypto investing and making money, what value do they provide to people? Nothing. Like if you make money on crypto, you basically took money from other people. And crypto investing and stock investing and um, even professional poker, it's a zero-sum game. So when you make money, somebody else loses money, which actually hurts people. <laughs> I mean, crypto's messed up, guys. I'm just <laughs> trying to be honest here. Like, let's, let's, let's keep it real. Crypto's a bunch of Ponzi's. I almost don't want to teach high schoolers this stuff. Octospace going to pump a lot? <laughs> no. Octospace is not that good. What do you think about LCX? I think it sucks. And a lot of robots came into here. Help. What do you think of LCX? I am a Coinbase normie. I do not know how to use a VPN. <laughs> Any upcoming meme coins you're looking at? Oh, yes, of course there are. There's always meme coins, dude. When am I not looking at meme coins, dude? Meme coins are so freaking bullish, dude. Like, this last pumps with Pepe and Bonk and Doc with a hat and Myro. Meme coins prove over and over again. They're very bullish. They pump the most. People love meme coins. It's so easy to buy. I'm up in a lot of profit right now with Pepe. I'm up uh, 10x on Pepe. I'm up 20x on Miro. And these are profits that I recommend transforming into the layer ones. If you really want to get the next uh, meme coin before I mention it on the live stream, uh, get on the VIP membership because you can track all my buy and sell alerts in real time. You get early access to new gems sent straight to your email, like instantly. Pyrin is okay. I think it's, it's not a bad uh, short term play. I think it's fine. Salvi, thank you for the five euros says hello CG regarding space mesh coin base ventures fund. One of the project, it's the main reason I'm bullish on it. Check and dangle. No, um, it's really not that bullish if Coinbase Ventures is invested into your project. I'm not trying to be a downer. I'm just, dude, do you know how many projects Coinbase Ventures invested in? Hundreds, if not thousands, dude. They have so many. How is Space Mesh the one? Why is that the best one? If Coinbase Ventures is invested into a thousand projects, why Space Mesh? I'm serious, dude. Coinbase Ventures throws money at everything. It doesn't mean anything at all. Okay, some of the most recent Coinbase listings was Helium Mobile and Bonk. Bonk was definitely not a Coinbase Venture project, and I don't think Helium Mobile was either. I could be wrong, but I'm just saying, dude. Whenever you get a Coinbase listing... Half the time, they're not even Coinbase Venture projects. And if they are, it's just by some random happen chance. I don't understand this hype of like, oh, well, the Coinbase Venture is invested in it. That means it's going to become a Coinbase listing. And No, it's not. Coinbase Ventures has thousands of projects they invest money in. It doesn't mean anything. Take it with a grain of salt. It's a little bullish, but it's not a sole reason you should invest into a project is what I'm trying to say. Okay, you're asking me to look at Entangle. All right, let's go see Entangle. Why is it called Entangle? It just sounds so funny. <laughs> All right, chart looks good. Market cap is low. It's on some exchanges. All right, I like to see that. Connect data assets. Messaging layer. 
Cross-chain Web3 messages? Oh, that sounds so stupid. Is this, is this a blockchain? Is it a layer one? Omni-chain? Uh, oh, they got some dApps integrated. 16 blockchains connected. Nice. Power your dApps with interoperability. Ooh, you know, I actually like this. This is a good project. Um, and the reason I say that is because they're providing actual uh, technology that other other cryptos can use because they're bringing blockchains together. For what reason? I don't know why, but they're trying to do something. Is the team doxed? Who's the team? Where's the documentation? If the team's doxed, this is a really good play. This is actually a good pick. Where's the team? Is the team anonymous? Damn it, please don't be anonymous, dude. Come on. Uh, let me go check the uh, tokenomics for this. Entangle tokenomics is... Ooh, it is on here. Oh my god. Only 15% in circulation? You guys see this? It's going to dump a lot on the unlocks. I'm just, 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 just keep in mind it's really bad circulating supply. Like this low. It's very, very low. So that's, that's a huge red flag. But um, it's not a deal breaker. All right, where's the allocation? Staking rewards, seed round, team, liquidity, blah, 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 blah. Oh, man, the unlocks are going to kill the price, dude. Jeez, dude. I, I, ah, oh man, maybe I would wait a month or two. I don't know. Chart looks fine. Very risky. Uh, oh, wait, what's the market cap? The market cap is, oh, wow, 300 million. Okay, so the market cap that you see on coin market cap is incorrect. And the reason I know that is because if you look at this little exclamation triangle, that basically is saying, hey, FYI, we don't know if this is the right information. So if you want the right market cap, you can usually get it on crypto rank. And here it says 304 million. That's actually really big. So I don't know. It's fine. If, if the team is doxxed, maybe I would put a little bit into it. But this is not a micro cap, right? Like you're not going to hit 100x like you can with um, my other plays. It's okay. If you like layer ones, check Partitia. I do like layer ones. You guys are, are catching on. Partitia blockchain. Uh, damn, did this just come out like yesterday? Man, these are like really new. Oh, nice. Wow, it's on Bitfinex? Holy shit. It's impressive. Oh, uh, Confidential computing, sustainable solutions, blah, blah, blah. Marketing, jargon, buzzwords. Empowering people. Protecting privacy. <laughs> it's so cheesy. Our mission, allow users to compute all kinds of data. Maintaining privacy. Nobody cares, though. Like, no one actually cares about privacy when it comes to a blockchain. Like, I don't know. Like, what are they? Like, what is this? They're making some pills in a lab. They're drinking coffee. Where's the privacy in this? Like, you're just kind of riding your bike in public. You're swimming at the public pool. Why do you care about privacy on, on your blockchain? Like, what? <laughs> I don't know. Something doesn't add up here. This looks really, really, like, weird. Hey, guys. I'm using a private blockchain, and I'm riding my bike in public, and I'm riding on a boat. <laughs> like, what the hell? I don't know. This is really weird. I don't think I would buy this. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Protecting privacy. Taking a stroll in public. <laughs> like, what the hell? What is that? Okay, I'm, I'm going to pass on that one. So, Christy, yeah, I think I'll not buy this, but you can buy some if you want. <clears throat> I'm sure there's potential to pump. Maybe it goes somewhere, but it just it just doesn't make sense, dude. Like, man, I'm just saying, guys. Like, there, there's a reason I pick neon. 
Uh, let's go first page of the website for Neon. I'll show you why I think it's very bullish. The first parallelized EVM on Solana. Boom. That's all it's got to be. It's simple. It's sweet. It's short to the point. It solves the problem. And Solana's pumping. Solana's hyped. The EVM needs to be on Solana. This does something. That's all it is. But I'm like, man, what is this crap? Like some dude riding a bicycle? Some lady going in the pool? Creating pills in a lab? Like, I don't understand. What kind of a blockchain needs this crap? <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. It's a huge X. <laughs> oh, man. The best cryptos are the more crypto-specific cryptos, right? Like, crypto is purely technology, right? As soon as you introduce real-world stuff, that's it. It's not, it's not actually that good. But if you have crypto-specific cryptos, they usually perform better. Because Neon is specifically a Solana Layer 2. You don't see any dudes riding bicycles. You don't see them creating pills in a lab. Look at Mint Layer. Dude, Mint Layer is a Layer 2 for Bitcoin DeFi. It's very specific. Minting NFTs on Bitcoin and inscriptions and whatever the heck else goes on with Bitcoin DeFi. It's crypto specific. So people are going to buy it. Uh, Ness says, CG, thanks for changing my perspective on crypto. The seven-step course helped me a lot. Feel, feels great going into the, the board. Wow, nice, nice, Ness. That's awesome, man. Like, the reason I do everything that I do is because of success stories like this, like what you just said, Ness. The fact that I could help change your perspective on crypto, improve your life financially, and just broaden your horizon to what crypto is and how to make money faster and easier. This is, it just feels good, man. This is exactly what I want to happen. I'd rather see something like this than, you know, people losing all their money on, you know, aid marketing scams and, you know, dudes riding bicycles and making pills in a lab. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Can't get over that. <laughs> like, what the frick? All right, so that's, that's really cool, dude. Um, I'm saying, dude, the, some of you guys are really missing out on the seven-step course because... This is going to be the fastest way to transform your, your crypto mindset. I mean, in less than 12 weeks, you're going to become instantly better at looking at cryptos. You're going to know where to look. You're, not, you're going to know what to look for. You're going to see whether or not it has bullish potential. I do strongly recommend the seven-step video course. The video course teaches you everything I know about getting microcap coins early, just like the same way I was able to buy Caspa at 0 .004, just like I was able to get Neon at 0 .07, how I got Mint Layer at 0 .02, and I can go on. Because I'll be honest, the VIP membership is like borderline blindly copying my trades, really. <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> So if you want to be able to think for yourself uh, when it comes to investing in crypto, like if you actually want to be a full-time, like lifetime permanent crypto investor, you have to take the seven-step video course that you can actually learn the shit. Just learn it once and for all. Uh, and the, the, the my video course group also includes chat rooms in Discord. So there's other people who are on the video course and whenever they find cryptos that passes all the seven steps, they're going to post it in the seven step gems course group. Um, the last call that was made there, for example, is Pyron because Pyron was called at three cents. Um, they also called open fabric at 18 cents and the best one which is my favorite, is that one of my students from the seven step course, he called Mint Layer at two cents. I mean, that's just crazy cheap. Just one of these investments alone is going to pay off the video course instantly. So I recommend this for people like Ness who want to transform um, their crypto investing skills and mindsets. Crypto Freak, price pump on Alluvium in the bull run. 
Is that the the gaming coin? I think this is way too old. Oh my gosh, it's a rug. <laughs> You get all the buttons. Everything. Price pump is going to be nothing. <laughs> nothing. This is so bad. Oh my god, dude. Man, dude, the bull run is here. Why are you wasting your time with these old scam coins that are pump and dumped? They're dead. The hype and the marketing ran out. They're just done. Jeez, dude. Oh my gosh, man. Some of you guys gotta catch up fast like you guys are really behind on crypto there's a hundred million reasons why alluvium and other similar cryptos should never be touched um please crypto freak download my free guide crypto investing guide i have a section on here that talks about pump and dump coins old cryptos and pre-allocations in the tokenomics um, and you'll see why Alluvium sucks. I have an explanation in here. And also there's other important things you got to do. You got to get your hardware wallet set up. You got to sign up for a Mexi account. You got to get a VPN and you got to set up your portfolio percentages in an optimal way. So download my free crypto investing guide. It's the first link in the description down below. <laughs> Especially new people. If you're new to my channel and you just found me, you have to get this. It's free. Completely free. Alluvium might pump 1%. It's not going to pump a lot. <laughs> DG, do you take Caspa payment for the video course? Uh, yes, I do. But there's no link for it. You just got to send me a direct message. And then you can pay me directly. And then, then I'll send you the link to the course. So just uh, send me an email or a Discord message. I don't know if you're on Discord. Are you on Discord? Loving summertime. If if you're on Discord, send me a direct message there. If not, you can just send me an email on my website, and we'll set it up. Savom, uh, I think it sucks. Somebody exposed it for being a scam. I can't remember why. I think that the team is Anon. The only layer ones and twos I'll buy are. Doxed teams. I'm not going to buy Anon cryptos. Brett on base. I think it's pretty bullish. I do. Yeah. You think base will be good? I don't know if it will, but it can. So just the fact that it can be good means that you should probably get a little bit of um, base cryptos. I do recommend it. Like like Brett, for sure. You, sh you should get some. I think so. You got to get the new hyped coins before they become the narrative. I mean, there could be a day where only base chain coins are pumping. DG, how much of your capital is on the side for future buys and DCA? Quite a bit. I think there that we might have a huge correction around the Bitcoin halving. Salt chat? I don't think that's bullish. I mean, if you're doing like degen trading, then maybe it is. TokenFi, bro, um, TokenFi is a paid marketing, paid shilling coin. Joe Paris, No BS Crypto, House of Crypto, Altcoin Daily. They're all paid marketers and paid shillers. Even I got an email from TokenFi and I'm like, no, I'm not taking your money to make a video to tell people to go blindly buy a stupid scam project. I don't take paid promotions ever. It's 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 dishonest. It would ruin my integrity and it would ruin my reputation with people who watch me. The only cryptos I'm ever going to recommend are cryptos that I actually believe in, that I actually invest in, that I think you guys should buy. Like the ones you see on this list. Any crypto you ever see that says paid sponsorship, run the other way. Bro, these guys get paid huge bucks to do paid marketing for TokenFi. I mean, they get paid five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars for a simple ten-minute video, dude. I would be loaded if I went the paid shilling route, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't recommend TokenFi or any other crypto coin 
That is a paid shill coin. Do not recommend it. So you guys got to be careful who you watch on YouTube because most of them don't have your best interest at heart. They just care about taking paid marketing proposals. They don't actually make money in crypto. They usually just make their money as a paid chiller. It, it's pretty messed up. I love base chain memes. Brett, Toshi, Mochi. Money is flying there. Transactions cheap. Yeah, get some uh, base chain coins. Token Fi and Floki sponsored. Yep, that's, that's a red flag. Why are they paying for sponsorships? Why? Because they're Ponzi schemes. They want people to pump their bags. Like an actual good crypto long term is not doing paid marketing. As soon as you hear about a crypto in the news, the media, the, the sponsorships, then you're the exit liquidity for somebody else. Crypto Puma says seven step course is the best investment I made in 2024. Learn invaluable base level skills to build on super fast. Man, that's good, dude. I, I feel so good for you, Crypto Puma. You left me no choice. We got to pump it up for Puma. A new crypto investor who learned something. That's good, man. I'm very honored that I ha had the chance to help transform your, your crypto trading mindset. And it's exactly what you said. After you take my video course, it builds a foundation for you to expand on. Because you can go your own route in crypto investing that can slightly differ from mine. But the, the video course that I teach is going to build your foundation. You got to pump that up. So yeah, for everyone else wondering, like, if you want to unbecome like a robot... <laughs> Who just watches the news and goes, help, I saw Token Fi on a Korea table tennis tournament. Is it bullish? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know where to actually look for cryptos and make decisions for yourself and transform yourself into a good long-term investor and become rich faster, invest in yourself with the video course because I it will help you build your foundation. It'll take less than four weeks or eight weeks tops. Casper Maxi, yeah, let's go, dude. Caspa is where it's at. NFT Queen, I'm doing good. Thank you very much. Check Soul Chat. Da Vinci Jeremy was bullish on this, bro. Uh, Franny, I hate to break it to you, but Da Vinci Jeremy is another paid chiller. I'm serious. He takes paid marketing proposals to tell you that Soul Chat is bullish and other a whole bunch of other crap. That's all he is. He's paid marketing. He made one good call with Bitcoin and nothing since. He, he, he became a paid marketer. Why is Mint Layer better than Microvision Chain? It's a different kind of crypto. That's why. The team is better. It's more unique. It's a low market cap. Brad says, thanks, CG, for the good work. Please, which cold wallets can I store or That's where I put mine. It's a Bitcoin BRC token, BRC20 token. So um, on the one key, I recommend the hardware wallets. Get the, the touch, which I have written out on my free guide. I don't know if you downloaded my free guide, but it's on my website. You can get it in the first link in the description, and you can get the hardware wallets that I recommend. They support all the cryptos that I invest in. So one key touch is the one that I recommend you get. Um, you have to open up a Bitcoin account on one key. And then you have to make a taproot Bitcoin version of your Bitcoin account. And then you click receive. And then you can choose BRC20 token. And you can put orange on your Bitcoin wallet on one key. Um, one key came out with a newer version, which is maybe better. I haven't tried it yet. But the touch is fine. So, yeah, put orange on the one key. Just download the free guide, my free crypto investing guide in the first link in the description. You still believe in ZTX? Yes, I do. GDAT, what's up?
New cash potangium card. Hope they bring out a neon or mint layer. Yeah, it would be cool. I'd like to see that. How do you feel about tangium? I think it's all right. Tangium's fine. Now, don't put all your coins on one wallet. I think you should get multiple hardware wallets, which I have um, written out in, in my free guide. You should get Tanjum, One Key, and Trezor, and get multiple sets of each. Yes, and also check out my seven step video course. Um, it's on my website. You'll see it. Karan Robot says help. What to invest now? 400x tomorrow. <laughs> what do I buy? <laughs> How do I buy it? <laughs> um, I mean, you have a lot of options. I don't even know what you're holding in your portfolio. These are my recommendations. Is these, whoops, holy crap. Oh, these, these ones. This is what to invest in now. Imagine not buying Caspa when it dropped. I bought Caspa when it dropped, thankfully. Dude, when Caspa was dropping, everyone was asking me, oh, but bro, should I sell Caspa now and wait for it to drop more to eight cents? I'm like, no, dude, just get Caspa now. Do not sell your Caspa ever. <laughs> Loaded it up on Caspa at 11 cents. They sold early. <laughs> Rip to all the early Caspa sellers. I've been in Caspa for so long, like a year and a half. And I remember when Caspa was four cents, people were selling Caspa saying, oh, this is the top. I'm going to sell everything. I made so much profit. And then Caspa from four cents had a, a dump to two cents. And then it pumped right back up to, you know, 14 cents. Do you stake mint layer? No, but you can do it if you want. I'm just too lazy. Can Caspa surpass ETH market cap? Yeah, I think it can eventually. Um, it might take a long time, like five or 10 years, but it could. The coffin dance never gets old. I know, it's, it's hilarious, dude. Do, 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 Man, dude, once Caspa hits $5, there's going to be so many people crying that they sold Caspa now. Please, guys, do not sell Caspa now. You have to hold this. This is so early. I'm still buying Caspa. Um, Kieran, TokenFi is a paid marketing scam coin. They do paid shilling, paid promotions everywhere. So you heard about it in the news. You're a normie, you're a robot, and you're probably going to be the exit liquidity for somebody else. TokenFi sucks. It's a scam. Mm. I don't, I don't take paid promotions. I am not a paid chiller. You will never t see me taking money to promote garbage ass coins like TokenFi or any crypto in general. The cryptos that I hold and that I talk about are cryptos I actually believe in that I have conviction for that I would recommend other people buy as well, which you can see here on this list. Caspa 200 billion market cap easy by 2025. I, yes, I agree with that. Yep. CG, what are you wearing? A shirt? All right, thanks guys for watching. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for the super chats. Pack your bags, pack your bags. Get ready for the bull run. It's happening now.
Also join my VIP membership if you want to see the next gem that I'm buying. Make sure also to purchase the seven step method video course if you want to become, to become a transformed crypto investor. What's up, Joey? Yeah, Mint Lair looking bullish, bro. Caspa is flawless. Ex yes, it is. It's perfect. Caspa's great. There's a reason I recommend Caspa should be minimum 80% of everyone's portfolio. Like, I'm not even joking. 80%. 50 Cent, thank you very much. Jadat, thank you. Oh, the watch? I can't remember where it's from, but it's pretty cool, right? All right, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next stream. Probably going to do a, uh, another VIP live stream pretty soon for the uh, the paid members and not the cheapskates. <laughs> but I'll see the cheapskates in, in the public stream uh, pretty soon as well. So thank you, everybody.